That's You'd be in your synopsis. Hi, right I'm Brandon. and I love Hallmark Summer Movies. <laughs> I'm Brian. I like Hallmark Summer Movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Summer Movies, and this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's his podcast. Brandon and friends host his podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. to catch it. Ew. I know. You How's everybody to doing that? today? You just licked you your mug. Yeah, you licked it hard. But this, these Not mugs are great. Yeah, check these these mugs are mean, great. Uh, a couple of things we're just teasing out there. That's right. Some new mugs. People are going to be able to get these? Some new, can you buy these? We haven't nowhere told you yet. yet. Nowhere we haven't told yet. You yet. But if you're watching on Philo, you're going to see Aaron I'm wearing. Two, I'm wearing a, oh, yeah. Go to, to, go to three. <laughs> But then also, but two, uh, but you. then go yeah. to two. There you go. And I'm wearing this. Is oh new. Man, yeah. Mm. So some new stuff that we're uh, we're cozy. teasing out there. Uh, maybe the some, maybe double deckers have already gotten their hands on some maybe, stuff. I don't know. Why would we release early. Christmas stuff already? It's yeah, that's you know. ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, I will would. say this: this Trace and Rig in the morning shirt. I mean, mug, mug, yeah. mug. This tiny little mug yeah. here. A lot of people know what Trace and Rig in the morning is too. That's the best part. <laughs> this is it, it has stood it, the test of time. Yeah, it, it really has. Uh, have they had an episode <laughs> in forever? No, but is it great? Absolutely. Yeah. They're still doing the show every I think day. We, we need, need to get them off. Yeah, we need to get a stuff. new one. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of them available on the Double Decker feed. But there I are. think yes, there hasn't yes. been one in a minute, so yeah, maybe we, minutes, maybe we right. should try to get our paws on a couple of those yeah. new new ones. When it was just you and I in the studio, we would uh, just, ra- randomly, just <laughs> randomly goof, just find goof. this kind of stuff. We just goof. Yeah. We um, had work that needed to be done, and that never stopped us. That never um, stopped us at all. No. No. Uh, hello, everybody. I hope you're doing well. It is uh, Tuesday, the last Tuesday of August. Amazing. We made it. Um, hurricanes are just coming. Okay. Does it matter? We are still pow- plowing through. Over here We're talking to, talking about uh, Napa Ever After. Very excited. We are only, um, you know, assuming that everything happens how we suspect it to happen. Only a couple weeks away from getting the the Christmas movie schedule. Yeah, Very excited about that. And you better believe we'll be doing a, an emergency uh, episode breaking those down no, we all, uh, the course. day that it I mean, comes last out. Last year you were in Mexico. And, and it didn't stop me. Stop I was I was yeah. on a, tr- a trip without kids and I said, hey wife, <laughs> I know we've come down here to Mexico for a nice relaxing week. But the Yes. I gotta go. I gotta talk yeah. about Hallmark with my friends. Um, friends. Of course you did. Uh, so very excited about that. It just feels like we're. It's just right around the corner. Fall movies kick off next week. We've got our uh, September preview show uh, kicking off uh, tomorrow. I believe is when that, is that episode right? will come yeah, out. So very sure. excited about that. Oh, so cool. um, pumpkin spice. Has any everybody mm. partaken? I've had a pumpkin spice. Aaron, have you had a pumpkin spice yet, or some pumpkin adjacent? Um, I've only had the pumpkin spice creamer that is in our office fridge. That's Are you? Did you put that in there? Yeah, in your in uh, Trace, Trace and Rig in the morning, morning mug. Yeah, of yeah. Of course. yeah. I'm uh, just living my fall life over yeah, there. Yeah, I should have. I, I should have I had you do that. You. I know, and I forgot that we had that. I forgot we had that. That's on me. That's on her. That no. Okay. She, uh, she had it. No, <laughs> I'm not letting let you do this today. Brian, have you had a pumpkin spice? <laughs> I haven't. Okay. No, Dan. You uh, are you kidding me? Okay. Pumpkin yeah, cream cold. Last three days. It's been over a hundred degrees. Yeah, yeah. I've had a Corona with a lime in it, <laughs> like a, like close. you're supposed to do in the summertime. Like this is absurd. Like let's yeah, just like pump the brakes here. I don't know how you live in pumpkin such misery. Spice, pump the you live in such misery. You don't let your <laughs> let childlike wonder just overtake you. You're like I gotta suppress it. I gotta suppress it. No. I'm a man. I wear a black shirt. I, I I'm not <laughs> suppressing anything. You're suppressing it hard. I talk Look about Christmas movies for a living. Begrudgingly. No, I love my job. It's wonderful. Then get a pumpkin cream cold brew today. No, then no, do, no, it. No, do, no, it. do it. Do it. No, do it. Syllogism. Do it. No, no, no. No, now you're just being a bully. You're a little. You're you a guys little. No. review the podcast. Brain's being a bully again. If he likes what he likes, I don't ask him to change. I say that I like something a certain way, and he's just trying to bully me into his way and conform to what he wants me to do. That's bullying. It's not bullying. Review. Five it's not, stars except Brandon's bullying. It's not bullying when you're I encouraging love this podcast some. So much aside from Brand, who's so mean and tries to bully others to do things his way. It's not bullying. He when called you're, me names and talked about my appearance in a negative way. When you're encouraging <laughs> someone want to live bullying. a better life it's not bullying it's, it's not it's like i'm like area. really yeah what you think is a better life no what is yeah, objectively yeah. factually no, you're all bullying aaron's getting in on it 
yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, um, we don't I, don't feel, I don't feel very safe in the workout. Well, go ahead, Aaron. <laughs> a pumpkin cream cold brew is a perfect beverage to have. It's on a perfect a beverage. Hot day. That's yeah. exactly right. Uh, I'm going to get there. Because get one, there. it's cold, and two, it pumpkin. gets you into the fall mindset, which makes you feel degrees. makes you yeah. feel cooler. Yeah. It's like you think it, about winter. I want to be clear: the temperature of it is not all of it. It's also the pumpkin of it. Like, and, and Nicole is in the chat right now. She says, "I'm with Dan. It's summer. Put the pumpkin away." Exactly. Emily's like, also with you. Here, can, can I tell you something? Oh, you know man. when you know when this season starts. It starts on September 12th. That's when it starts. Do you know why? No. Not because of an uh, equinox or whatever. It's because Wendy's has a pumpkin spice frosty. <laughs> okay. And if I'm not getting that the first day it's out, yeah. because it's middle of September, now we're talking. That's when we release this stuff. Summer's got like eight or nine days left in it. Okay, great. Pumpkin spice frosty, bring it. It's the, it's August. It is literally too hot to swim outside. And you guys are like, you had your pumpkin yet? You had your pumpkin yet? Stop it. Yeah, the pools are really hot. It's absurd. <laughs> the the water at the pool is 91 degrees. Had a, is that a new item, a pumpkin spice frosty? It's cut, Yes, never been Brand released. New? Coming wow. out September 12th. Does that intrigue you? And uh, you would think Wendy's yes. is a sponsor, promo code DECA at checkout. It's not. <laughs> Try we, it anyway. <laughs> we're just we're just here to tell you. I cannot. That is happening. I go live that too. That's a Tuesday. Last Try year, uh, last year Culver's had a, a pumpkin uh, milkshake that was really good. Mm. Um, so I, I love pumpkin. Yeah. I love pumpkin. Sure. I'm here for it when it's time. Yeah. Whenever you say it's time. That's right. For me, September twelfth. It's what okay you if you want to get pumpkin stuff now, but you taking a poll of the office to be like, "Well, why haven't you yet?" That's the bullying. You enjoy all the pumpkin you it's want. It's not bullying. I'll just take that apology through. You can write it, text it. You can text it. Any way you want to apologize is fine by me. Into that um, little microphone. Speaking of reviews, um, thanks to Drama Mom Three for leaving a, re- a review that said Brandon and friends are so much fun to listen to. The bits, the banter, the guests—they're all amazing. I've laughed so hard I've cried. Happy oh, tears. Happy tears. Wow. Had absolutely. Ha- I had the. <laughs> she had a good time. <laughs> so that like <laughs> so yeah. you get stuck. Uh, leave a review. We love reading we them. Do. It uh, means a lot. It yeah. means it means a lot. By the end, that, by the end of. Uh, 2030. 2030. Got it. By the end of 2030, uh, I think we might be able to make it by then. Um, a quick reminder, uh, Napa Ever After is what we're talking about. If you didn't watch it on Philo, uh, why? Go ahead and get your philo.tv slash DTH on. Sign up, and then you can DVR all the fall movies that are coming up, and then all the Christmas movies. It's really, it, this is the perfect time, if you don't already have the Philo, to get the Philo, because yeah. it's only going to get better from here. The fall, the Christmas, Unlimited your DVR. deck, the Hallmark, Come Philo on. Deep Dive, a show that Dan and I do every week, talking about fun, random TV shows. Uh, it's a lot of so, fun, so Philo.tv is You guys are ready to talk about Napa? Oh, yeah. Ever Napa, after? No, how? Not that Napa? <laughs> go, get ready, kind go, that go Napa. again. Napa, Napa no, how? how? That was really good. One more time. Napa, Napa no, no how. Come on, no, Brian. Was... Ready? Napa, Napa no, no how. how? You're not in it. Your heart's he, not in it. Yeah, your soul's I can, not you, in I it. I can tell. You're that? just, you're saying it, and you're saying it, but your eyes like and your heart aren't in it. All right, Ready? Napa no, how? Oh, okay. I don't know what happened. Way better. You've never gone high before. <laughs> Way better. It worked. Way and better. it was so much better. You you, you just need to believe. You, you always go low because you, you don't believe in, your in yourself. You found it in you your soul. You up. Felt right. Napa, Napa no how. how. Man. Oh, oh, oh. O'Reilly. <laughs> Auto Park. <laughs> O'Reilly's. <laughs> Uh, August 26th. Again. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> 2023, a little something like this. The vineyard is popping um, due to a wedding. There, That's great. And a little girl named Cassie is talking to her grandma. They're putting names on corks and stuff. Um, it's the family vineyard, and one day it's all going to be Cassie's. Except it's not, because the family appears to be leaving. Some family drama is causing Cassie and her parents to leave the vineyard. She's never going to come back there ever again. Cut to present day in San Francisco. You guys remember rice a Oh, yeah. San Francisco yeah, I tree? can't forget it because you bring it up <laughs> anytime anyone says San Francisco. It's a San Francisco <laughs> treat, Dan. How do you 
possibly hear the name San Francisco and not think about the treat How do you talk about that one? goes along with yeah. San Francisco? Other, you yeah. think about New York, you think of apples. You think about South Carolina, you think about pumpkin spice. You think about San Francisco, you think about sourdough. Rice Aroni. Yeah, rail cars. The so San Francisco the... treat and Homeward Bound 2. Um, the deuce. The deuce. Um, okay, so she's in San Francisco. Uh, she's a hot check. shot deal making attorney, but she Six also no she house, still knows check. her wine. Her friends are begging her to take her to Napa, Napa no house. Uh, but she explains that she has going to Napa no way no how. <laughs> she uh, is begging her to take her to Napa, but she explains she hasn't been there in forever since her family left. Um, but as they're talking about this, uh, it's as if her grandma. Ears were burning and she died because uh, she gets a call and her grandma has ears. has Ouch. passed away um, and so she needs to head to Napa ASAP. But before she leaves, she finds out that she's made partner. Hey. Uh, but then she gets another call. Her grandma has left her the vineyard. It is hers. This is great news. So she goes and drives down, and on the way down, on the way down, gets a flat tire and fixes it herself. And a random guy walks up to her on the way. I'm good. That went on too long. Um, A a random guy is like, hey, do you need any help? And she's like, no, Napa know how. Uh, I am good to go. (laughs) So uh, she gets to the vineyard, and she's bothered by how beat up it is how it seems like it's really just gone gone by the wayside it's a mess and so she decides that she is going to ask her boss for a sabbatical Mm. a day into partnership she says thank you for being a friend i need a sabbatical and i'm gonna fix this up and i'm gonna honor my grandma's legacy i can't see go go like this the guy that she talked to while she was changing her tire he's there his name is alec he helps around the vineyard he's a handy man um they start hanging out and whatnot and talking about the vineyard working on the vineyard uh, maybe a little flirt, flirt, fun time. Um, her friends show up and they're so happy to be there. And they decide that one of them is getting married and they want to have the wedding at the vineyard. So now we kind of have like a, hey, we have to get this place ready yeah. by this date for the wedding. And that inspires them to go around the town and tell people that the vineyard is opening back up for weddings. It's going to be a good money maker. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I saw your face and oh, I got you're nervous. You're good. Um, so uh, the vineyard it's really is, me is once again. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, the vineyard he's a is. Bully. I'm just saying he's a bully. Because I was checking. I saw on your you? face. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's right there. Um, so they're going around town. Everybody's excited that the vineyard's opening back up. But here's the thing: in order to turn this whole thing around, we need money. Yeah, And grandma's made this pretty tough because she's mortgaged herself into a real sticky situation. And so she's like doing everything she can. She's selling her car to try to fix up the barn and she's doing all this stuff. And Alec is like, let me help. I love this place and I'm happy to help. And she's like, I, no, we're not going to do that. Um, her dad then comes, though, and is like, hey, um, I hear you need some money. I have some money and I would like to help because of the way that we left the situation. And your mom actually never really wanted to leave this place and just left for me. So I feel like uh, I owe it to your grandma and to your mom to uh, help you fix this place up. So they're fixing up. They're having a wonderful time. Her and Alec are just loving life and she goes up to him and is like hey do you uh want to be partners and and maybe he's like uh, maybe even partners in life and absolutely uh cut to i believe it said a a, a year a year in the future a year a year a year and some change those two lovebirds are walking down the aisle at their own vineyard they get married they kiss and that my friend was Napa, Napa ever, ever after. after Napa know how
Oh. I almost said Napa No Helmets. <laughs> That's the name of the movie. Uh, let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll break this movie down with three segments here, four segments here on. <laughs> We're just doing three segments. <laughs> We're doing three segments today. Day. We're, We're doing three segments news. today here on Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark. Hallmark. Welcome back to Deck the Hallmark, the podcast where we break down all your favorites. And we have three segments to help us do that. We're going to start with the hot tag, and we're going to start with Brian. Brian, yep. what do you think of this movie? Give us that hot take. Yeah. That hot, yeah, hot yeah, take. Yeah, Bring yeah, it. Super hot. Like the temperature. So I, uh, I actually like this movie. And for a mahogany movie i think it's one of the it's one of the most memorable i think it'll stand out for me and one of my favorites i think mahogany wise that we've watched for some like it flew by for me all of a sudden i, I had to pause it at one point and i realized I'm like we're like two-thirds of the way through this thing i didn't see that coming like it, it kind of was flying by it was a little choppy like the the cuts yeah were a little choppy yes and some of the um like her flat tire the mold all this stuff felt kind of old school like just, oh, let's throw a flat tire. That's how they meet. It's like very low level kind of stuff, but I liked it. Like mm-hmm. it worked. It felt kind of like a throwback in a sense to uh, to the way they used to do this stuff. And just the fact, like the the quick cuts and how choppy it was kind of worked for me. I feel like it, it all, at a certain point, I felt like this feels like a, um, like TGIF. Like it was, the music was kind of <laughs> like funky. Like we were, it, it was moving very fast. I'm it like, it felt I, like TGIF, yeah, like, like, like two hour block of, uh, like, like tween show, programming like on ABC almost. on like Friday a, night. It felt like it could have been cut into like a sitcom. Like, uh, a, like, I, the you the know? cuts were jarring early. Yeah. And very jarring. got into that, I'm like, okay, this is what we're in for. Yeah. And I just felt, I don't know, it felt very natural. And so I kind of liked it. There were two things that I was looking for that I didn't get in this that I was like, oh man, I wish we got this. The first one was I wanted more behind the scenes vineyard stuff. Like I want to see that, how they're running this business. <sighs> Just how is the operation running? Ryan. What it's is a natural it's question. Just always more logistics. Just, with you. I just want to see yeah. like how are they doing this? Like you were on the in the fields a little bit, but I want to see the trucks taking the wine out. I want to see like, how how they're working the contracts. Then just, watch a documentary. I, yeah, of obviously, course. Obviously, but I'm just saying while like, I'm watching this, I sheesh. wanted more info on how they're running the business. And the second was when Alec got cut in to the deal. I thought. This is going to be great because she's a real estate lawyer. We're going to get a deal happening. Nah. We're going to, we're nah. going to, I wanted to know. I'm like, I can't wait. She's going to be ruthless. She's going to try to cut him like a bad deal. He's got big money. He's going to see right through that. There's going to be a good negotiation. We got none of that. So I thought for sure there'd be some, some conversation about how he's getting cut in equity wise. And we got nothing. So I would have liked some of that. What's the deal here? I mean, some I do the, have questions about how. He just like worked his way into partner of a family owned mm-hmm. vineyard that now he owns some of it. I yeah. ha- I would agree with you there. I do have some of those questions. Yeah, but more like how do they operate the winery? Blech. A little curious about it. Uh, but <laughs> other than that, I mean, I had yeah, I had a good time. It flew by. It, it wasn't super funny, but pretty enjoyable watch for me. Should have been able. To Ryan was also a having a, a all business. Ryan was also having a root canal while he was watching it. And so, so it could, just No, no, no. flew by <laughs> for him. I uh man, what an interesting take by you. <laughs> I like this movie fine. Um, I again, most of these movies really comes down to uh, leads and chemistry, and I like these two leads. I, I liked when they were together. Um, Alec at one point had his shirt off. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think what 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 is there not to like about all of that? Um, I but I agree with all the things so far. The, there was a lot of cuts, especially early on. I noticed more of the musical cuts than anything else. Like yeah. they would go yeah, they were, yeah. like the movie kicks off with this like funky funk and then cuts <laughs> to classical because we're at a wedding and it just it literally just boop, right, cuts yes. like straight straight into it and you're just like what's happening and then yep. it's back to the funkies and then you're in San Francisco um, thinking the about San Francisco trees. thinking yeah, about the, the treats and uh, rice roni and whatnot sure. and so so um yeah Never this thought about it until you this movie is you yeah. was uh <laughs> this movie was fine it's probably going to end up in the um the standard the feels for me just middle of the road um Spoiler but alert. Uh, that's i'm just Man. saying i'm just saying where i'm at i'm just saying where i'm at i don't know where it's going to end up with uh, the the three of us battling it out um but yeah overall uh, a fine time dan 
Yeah, yeah, these movies start like as a net bad for me. Like, so a decent one is bad. This is a mad one, which means it's a really terrible movie. Like, I just like really bored. Nothing sticks out about this movie as being unusual or different or inspired. Mm-hmm. Um, the leads are just they're fine. The writing's fine. It's not. It's just not nothing about it sparked any interest. I definitely didn't want more of the winery. Um, it it seemed like a a path we had trod uh, numerous times in, in Hallmark movies, and uh, you know, I, I just I was really really bored. It was a tough watch. It wasn't actively bad, but it isn't very memorable. In fact, aside from the fact that it has Napa know how now attached to it, if you asked me about Napa ever after in a few months, I'd probably be like, I don't remember which that one. Napa was, know so. how. Um, Do you so remember yeah. that? Not for no, how. I think <laughs> I feel like unthinkably good things is my, my favorite mahogany movie. I could be wrong on that. I have to see a list. Uh-huh. Um, this was just it just didn't stand out in any in, in any way, shape or form. There are some movies that are going to be worse on our ranking list for sure. But this has got to be in the bottom half to me. Like the the one where the, the woman is look the, the, the song. Right, she's trying to find the song. Oh yeah, yeah you guys were higher on that one than I it's was. It's not a like it's better than this though because it's trying something. Yep. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, we were in the this studio. Isn't, yeah, this isn't trying <laughs> studio. It was tough. Uh, let's get to all the feels where we talk about what gave us those feels while we were watching this movie, uh, Brian. Yeah, early on, I was really concerned about Alex's motivation. Uh, I was like, this. They better explain this pretty well because this is yeah. just very random. Yes, you can't just show up and start helping out. And when they explained it, that you know he went through a tough time and her grandmother really helped him out, and so he feels like indebted or he he feels some uh-huh. sense of pride. But the, there was something else that happened that they showed briefly that stuck with me about his motivation. It was when they showed his his wedding picture at the vineyard, mm-hmm. and they never even mentioned that as something that was motivating him. But I took that as, and this like this really put it over the top. I took that as like, for his wife's memory, he was invested in this place. Like he wanted to honor her to help take care of this place. And so for me, they didn't even mention this in the movie, but I saw that and I thought, oh, well, clearly he's never going to let this place fall apart. He's obviously going to, if nothing else, like for the memory of his wife and for his daughter to see this place when she grows up and all that stuff. So that, that actually really worked for me, and it wasn't even something they, they talked about. It wasn't a discussion point at all. But I just made that all up in my own head, and it worked really well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wait, are the feels the things that you made up in they your made head? made up in your head? Yeah, yeah. His, okay. his motiv- him cool. being motivated by him being married Cool, there. Yeah. cool, awesome. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. a great job, Brian. Genuine <laughs> feels. You went above and beyond there. I don't know if you Thanks understood the that. assignment, but you <laughs> went above and beyond. You, ma- you for, manifested a feels. <laughs> maybe yeah. for you, there were only three segments. And, yeah. you, and yeah. you just decided on this one, I'm going to take the... Uh, take a few plays off. I um I really liked the little girl and her grandma early on in this movie. I thought it was really cute and I'm really like thinking more about this movie. I wish this movie would have utilized um flashbacks more of her yeah. with her grandma cuz I think like her learning lessons about the vineyard from her grandma as a kid and then being able to uh, put those lessons to work as an adult, I think would have been really great. Um, especially since the little girl and the grandma were so dang cute at the beginning of this movie. Um, so those are my feels and also a critique, <laughs> critique. Um, I will uh, give you a feels and raise you a critique. Uh, Dan, we're doing um, great in the feels. Today. There is a dynamic. <laughs> you guys are crushing it. There is a dynamic in this film that I really, really like, which is the, uh, her, the lead character's dad is a lawyer and she became a lawyer like her dad, even though it was destined for her to take over this winery. And that presents an interesting dynamic where no one's wrong, but everyone has feelings that are strong enough to make them make them feel that the other is wrong. And so I loved that dynamic. Um, and then they basically just chuck it out the window. <laughs> they're like, this is fun, isn't it? Let's not. And they just go and they're just like, she falls in love with the winery anyway. And it it they had an opportunity, in my opinion, to be like, letting someone live out their dream may not look like what you want it to look like. Mm. And they didn't do that. And so we're 0 for 3 on feels. Yeah, nice. Just good job clapping there. Well, it's just snaps. It's just, I was like, mm -hmm. it's good stuff, isn't it? Amen. It was poetry. It was art. Uh, Let's take a quick break. We'll come back with uh, two and a half uh, other segments on the other side of this break here on Deck the the Hallmark. Hallmark. We're back. 
We are back. Welcome. Uh, hope you're doing well here on a Tuesday. Uh, let's get to the way what. It's where we talk about what in this week. We just go, wait, what? 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 Huh? No way. What? Remember when we did that bit for a little bit? Huh? Little no way. The huh no way segment. Um, Brian, let's start with you. What are you waiting on? What are you what? Early on, somebody threw a package onto her desk, and it's. she looked at it, and she's like, Fink, do we know Fink? And she just dismissed this certified package completely. Yeah. I just feel like as a lawyer, you're going to get a lot of things yeah. thrown on your desk from people you don't know yet, Yeah, and you don't ignore any of oh, them. Especially certified a mail. certified package, yeah. Yeah, certified yeah. mail. You got There's a lot that happens there. I yes. don't, I've, I've sent certified mail before. It was more than I wanted to deal with. Yeah, I, there, th- there is no world where she's like, what is this, certified mail? Put it in the junk drawer. Exactly. Like, it I, must I have just, been a mistake. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I shouldn't open this. It's certified. That's but. not even like bad lawyering. That's <laughs> yeah, just bad. Like, that's bad postal people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then just the flyer. This sort of fell in the bucket of old school throwback stuff. That f- just plastering the town with flyers. Yeah. That the venue is back. Classic. It's just like I just I was trying to come up with a way to bash it, but I'm like, this is just too funny that they're just <laughs> yeah. and the town is psyched about it. Like. Okay. Yeah, good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I saw the flyer. Did you see the yeah, flyer? They're back. Did you yeah. hear they're back? Yeah. Uh, so that was just something that was really funny. And she went to the bank for a loan. And um, this just annoyed me. She went to the bank for the loan, didn't get the loan. Alec offered her money. She said no. Then her dad offered her money and she took it. And then she worked it out with Alec that he's going to invest. Like the whole time I'm thinking, he's obviously going to invest in this. Yes. Vineyard. Like when is yeah. this gonna? Ha- why would she just be so against it? He, I don't. Yeah, there she, was no reason for. There's her a though. whole no. She does a whole thing about like she doesn't need any help. She doesn't give right, a big but speech such a about weak that. Th- when he come when it, it's yeah. different when you're like, listen, I'm not trying to help. I want I want something out of this. That's right. Like, I'm exactly. an investor. I'm yeah. going to give you money. You're going to give me ownership, and that's how this um, works. I, I, my question with that was not about that. It was about how exactly, and maybe this is what the hallmark, but how did the grandma have a mortgage to the hilt when she still stands to make a profit off of the sale? Mm-hmm. So like it, you can't all like the, right. the way he explains it is, is I got a, a buyer yeah. and if you are, can sell it to them, it'll cover all the mortgages and a good chunk of change. Yeah. In your pocket, you can't have both. That there, means yeah. that you're not mortgaged to the hilt. Yeah. That means there's some there's some meat left on like that. Usually, pump. you can get you can pull money out if there's if there's like a percentage. Yeah, ten or twenty percent. Yeah. And but, so, but, but even that's that doesn't sound like a big chunk. But because that one. covers closing, Shock. it yeah. does. It's nothing. Yeah. If, so, yeah. if he says you're going to sell this land and walk away with money in your a lot of money in your yeah. pocket, right. then you can mortgage it again. Mm-hmm. He, the bank would gladly let yeah. you remortgage yeah. it. I think it was the improvements they were saying was what uh, set it up. Set it. But he just called. He's just like, but, I got to. But yeah, like I, well, I he just, said he started out. I think with saying we've seen places looking great, but yeah. still, like just f- slapping some paint on yeah, it is not. I, gonna I increase just don't. The value. That was a weird. You can't have it both ways. There. That's true. That's so. True. There's that. Yeah, and just they <laughs> they they're just still using cork. Like I don't think anybody still really uses cork. No. Like, it's just no. too expensive, and you got to go no. twist off. Go ahead, Brand. <laughs> you gotta go twist, twist off. off. Yeah, you On gotta go to twist. Yeah, for the wine. Twist bottles. off is now acceptable for wine bottles. That oh, does yeah. not I signify. I up cork all the time. Yeah, I, I understand. But, gotta, but if you're trying, I think but it's like, cheaper to do twist off. Too. It is cheaper. Oh, no, to I'm twist sure. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I like yeah. a twist off more. Than I thought. Cork. I thought you were saying that no one does cork anymore. No, no. You, no, you can I still see. do cork if you're if you're redesigning your bottle and you're trying to save money. Yeah, go to it. Is now acceptable. It used to be like, oh, that's a barefoot five dollar bottle of wine, but now like it's acceptable for people to do. Twist up, uh, so. I got a few. Uh, one, apparently grandma before her death was going around uh, telling everybody, quote, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. And yeah. that is the that is a this is a rule. Everybody, if somebody says they're fine three times, yes. they're not fine. <laughs> yeah. You check on them. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Abs- definitely not fine. If she were to say I'm fine. OK, maybe. She's dribbling right. down. She, you 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 got to be careful. You got to be careful with grandma's that. Grandma's friend is like she'd say what she always said to us, right? Which is, "It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. fine. That's what she would and always she's say. Repeating, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, not There's fine. no no. You're she's definitely not, not fine. fine. Losing it. She's yeah. definitely that not fine. That is the top way to know that yeah. someone's not fine. Yeah. yeah. As if they yeah. have you to do say one of these three like, times. Yeah. Oof, oof. You hear that? It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine over here. Oof. Look out. That's what she always said. It's fine. We, fine. Uh, it's fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. We put on a shirt. 
She says it so much. It's just, it's a, that's a grandma shirt. Um, <laughs> listen, they do a thing here, and it's funny, ha-has, I love it, where she goes out and she's working in the vineyard, and she comes back and she's got like a stick, stick in her hair, hair yeah, and it's yeah. big funny. Um, she also has her bottom button buttoned into her top button hole. Nice. And I'm here to say, I don't care how hard you've been working. You can't. You, do you don't stumble you into do bottom button top hole. You don't stumble into that. That's not something that happens with hard work. The harder you work, the more the buttons work their way like, up. Yeah. Things are getting out of hand. Let me button my have, top button yeah. with my bot. Like you just don't. You don't. The do more that I just, ever. I found somehow my buttons just kept moving up, and I don't, I don't <laughs> know. I don't know how it happened. Uh, they go out for a double date situation, and. And they want you to think they're drinking beer and so I don't true. drink beer, but I know lukewarm tea when I see it. And that's what that <laughs> yeah. is. Yes. That is tea. That Real is uh, definitely not beer. Last but not least, there is an event, uh, I think a little birthday party mm-hmm. and I'm offended at the popcorn servings. I understand it's a little girl's birthday party, but if I'm at that party chaperoning, give me a big old thing of popcorn. Don't put it in a little cup like that. What are we, what are we doing? What do we, I, I, I understand that, uh, that the times are tough out there. Just a little, maybe even just a normal size cup. This is a little dinker. It's like a daisy cup. That's not going to go anywhere. The popcorn. That's not going to go anywhere. Dan, you took two of my big ones. Especially, it's fine. I'm fine. Probably Everything's charge for fine. Butter on that yeah, you could probably. Charge for, listen, oh my we're gosh. not. Well, don't you dare. <laughs> we're still the United States. Last time I checked. Uh, um, this is the best boss ever. Mm. <laughs> ever. Yep. First of all, she brings her in, and she's like, "You made partner. The judge ruled in our favor. You're amazing. You're awesome. A lot of encouragement. That's one. That great boss. Two. It's like uh, my grandma died." I got you just made partner. My grandma died. I got to go out of town. You take your time. Great boss. I'm just going to be gone three days. No, no, no. Family's more important. You take your time. This boss is through the roof. Great. And then one day into making partner, can I take a six month sabbatical? You betcha. Yeah, you bet you can. Anything this else? boss is going for boss of the century over here. Like what in the world? If you made somebody partner and they're like, can I have six months off? At that point, I'm even going like, no, 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 no. They're just like, you have to do the job. You can't possibly do that. Not this boss. She's above (laughs) and beyond. It's very, very impressive. Um, They play one 90s song at this club so they can say it was 90s night. Literally nothing else about this club is 90s night. Nothing. The way people are dressed, the way it's decorated, nothing. Why did they do that? Why say it's 90s night? You can still play that song and dance to it and just say it's let's go out on a date. Uh, no one, yeah, it doesn't have to be nice. Why is it up with this 90s night? They literally put the ball in the tee. They're like, you guys want to go to the club tonight? It's 90s night. So there's an anticipation that you get there and there's 90s stuff. Well, what's the point of 90s night if you're not going to 90 garb it up? That's right. You got to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta yeah. wear the 90s yeah. garbs. And to not even throw one Chumbawamba out there, not a single <laughs> Could one. you imagine if we got back-to-back oh, weeks of Chumbawamba? Wombas? Unbel- I saw back-to-back Wombas yeah, live. Yeah, I bet you did. How were oh, they? They were so good. Yeah? Man. It's two dueling oh, Chumbawamba man. cover bands. <laughs> wow. They so face each other they on do, stage. And they take turns with voices. It's it, it gets intense. Wow, yeah. it's fantastic. I feel like at the end of the night they might come together yeah, yeah, yeah. and just one massive one massive wumba. They do I other saw them <laughs> live as well. Do they do <laughs> other songs other than Tub Thumping? Uh, yeah, they do the, all the hits. All the hits from the Tub Thumper uh, album. All the hits from Chumbawamba. Yeah. You know this. I know. We've played this game before in my car where I read you tracks <laughs> and we played other Chumbawamba songs and yeah. tried to be like, wow, I can't believe that's still a thing. Yeah. Um. And then uh, if we could have gotten this dude, is his name Alex? Is that Alec. the guy? Alec. Thing? Alec, excuse me. Um. If we could have gotten Alec a hat that was actually old, that would have been awesome. They get him a hat that's brand new but frayed everywhere, yeah. 
and they want you to think that it's old. And that guy working in the fields would never, <laughs> ever, ever wear that hat unless he wanted to be made fun of. He would never wear it. And it just didn't make any sense at all. And that's all I've got. It's time for what the home markets where we wonder what could have been maybe happening. Give some clarity to any questions that we still have. Brian, have any questions been keeping you up at night since you've seen this? Yeah, my uh, my big question that I, well first i was wondering is something wrong with isabel's tea because every time she serves tea the cups just sit there untouched nobody drinks her <laughs> nobody tea. drinks the tea cute tea cup stuff uh, yeah yeah very but the big one was like what did the what did her grandmother expect her to do in the situation she leaves her this yeah. place she knows it's almost Mortgage underwater the yeah that's right it, i think the grandmother would have been pretty okay with her just selling the place and not dealing with it. like she yeah she had to take a sabbatical from her job sell her car like uproot her whole life go stress herself out to the max i, I just can't it's weird imagine. she didn't leave a letter or Nothing. something Something like, like that like, explains yeah. like what well, she that, wants yeah. that's also mine and I, this is going to sound very morbid but i just want to know how the grandmother died because it seems like she was fine i heard it, it was very very sudden everything was fine. ears were burning and if it's very sudden then the reaction on the phone doesn't make any sense but if it wasn't sudden then how do we not have something in place to yeah. explain I'm leaving you a money pit, just yeah. a full on, you're not going to make money with this. It There's no money left in it. I, I, I did it for you situation. Yep. Especially when she says at the beginning, this is all going to be yours. Like, mm. like at least intonating that I want you to keep it. It just doesn't, that, that did not make yeah. a lot of sense. And a lot of thought I don't feel like was put into it is all I'm saying. Thank yeah. You. yeah. Thanks for saying No, no, no. I appreciate it. Thank you, Brian. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I want, like, this seems like a vineyard that is more of a wedding venue than a, a vineyard. A vineyard? Yes. Like, they do, we do very little wine talk. <laughs> Correct. Which was surprising what, to me. This is what I was saying. So, I wanted more wine talk. I don't want more and wine talk. to see him go out with the trucks. You didn't yeah, see one more all, wine talk. Vineyard, but typically like, when we're operating? on a vineyard, there's like a good bit of like wine <laughs> tasting and like doing things for yeah. the wine business. And this whole movie was more about let's fix this place yeah. up for to make the wedding venue yeah, uh, a thing again. And when they did taste, they went to, like downtown to taste. Yeah. They so I, really I do want to know like what the breakdown of this business is, like how much oh, of do. it is. You want some operational info, huh? <sighs> no. Yeah. He, there is a difference. I would have been okay with more wine tasting. I would like there That's to be not what you said. something in this movie that proves that this uh, vineyard yeah. does wine. Aside from seeing the... Occasionally yeah. somebody's like, your parents' wine or your grandma's wine is the yeah. best wine in the world. They'll say that. That's all you get. There's yeah. just a weirdly yeah. a, a lack yeah. of wine yeah. in this movie. Yeah. Just right. is That's all right. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. More of a what renovation. Saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we did everybody. Congratulations. We do have Panda who's coming around the corner right now for oh, the Double Decker of the Week. So come on in, buddy. Roll that music. Wine. Double Decker of the Week. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, man. Christmas in August. Hello, everybody. Oh, goodness. Hey. Welcome back. Another Double Decker of the Week. Uh, Panda is here to dive deep into the life of one of the Double Deckers that have signed up at Brentwood Gen Plus at a Double Decker tier or higher. Dan, who we do we have? We got Christina Dexter. Uh-oh. Christina Dexter. This Uh-oh. Week. Oh, Christina Dexter. Uh, tech Wizard. Wow. Tech Wizard, yeah. Tech Wizard. Heard that about her. With uh, Wiz Kid. Yeah, yeah Wiz Wizard kid. skills. Uh... <laughs> Several several years ago, she had an epiphany, mm. uh, and great, and uh, it, it was. Do you guys remember those big mouth bass? Uh, yeah, thing that you could do. rolling. Uh, yeah, yeah, rolling, rolling on the river. And she just she was. Here's a little song I wrote. By one singing no for no. Don't worry. Don't happy. Yeah. Uh, she would give those as gifts to everyone. I don't think Rolling to the River is one of the songs. That be very good. <laughs> no, I thought it was. Take Me to the River is. Oh, really? Yeah. Take me to the river. Rolling. Put me in the water. Rolling. You got one of the special ones. We don't have time. We're up against hey, it. Go we're ahead. up against yeah. it. Uh, anyway, she used to give those as gifts, but you know what? You don't see them anymore. And she, that made her sad. They were everywhere for they a while. They were everywhere for a while. I would like a deep dive on those and what <laughs> happened to them. But anyway, I would, I would what a time it was. Uh, it, was a, it was a time. So she, she gave said, them to everybody. Well, she gave them to everybody. She goes, what if we took them to the next level? 
Uh, mm-hmm. What if we took them to the next level? And the next one, she she's designed it, she's marketed it, and it's called the iCod. The iCod? Yeah. What's it kind of do? It's basically <laughs> same as it's, it's it's a cod because ba- basses are uh, <laughs> more or less cod. They're licensed, uh, but this is this is up on. The- <laughs> Did she like work Siri see, into? Man, here's what happened. What happened? He thought it would be funny if he got a different fish, <laughs> and he had the word iCod, and he was like, "What can I do with this?" But did they like? Work? I didn't do anything. No, no. I Christina, wanted Christina. Of course. Did Christina like work Siri into the yeah, cod? And so you go, you just carry it around, you hit the little button, and, and then you uh, ask anything. Yeah, ask anything. Wow. iCod. So it's basically like an iPod, but a giant fish. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is good stuff. Yeah. So wait. <laughs> it does not sound like it, this is But I thought she just took all the old bass. She's just no, calling no, them no, cops she's now? Doing no, you can't. Thing. You can't. So she started a whole new thing. It's a whole yeah. new thing. You Got can't, the, the bass, you can't market bass. They're I thought really you said bass. she yeah, bought a bunch. Trademark. We could get in trouble <laughs> just saying I bass. thought you said she bought a bunch of them no, and no. decided well, to take them to the next the level. She gave see. them away. It's yeah, yes, yes. If you knew, if you knew, Christine, you were getting a big mouse. Big big mouse. Big mouse bass. Big mouse bass. What are you? Yeah. More than fair. All right. Well, I hope to get one soon, Christina. Back to you guys. Wow. All be winners, Thanks, really. Panda. <laughs> Have a good one, buddy. We're going to be back tomorrow with the September preview show. Nine movies we got to preview tomorrow. What? We're doing what? Nine movies. That. Nine oh, movies. And that's in one, one month. That's why we can't 30 do. 30 days half September. <laughs> There's no way. It's a movie every three days, Brand. I know. No. Are you serious? No. Nine no, movies. I don't have time for this. No, no Nine movies. Does. We'll do it tomorrow until then. Maybe the first switch you a. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi, but here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day.